Hey y'all, Jen Hernandez, Loan with Jen. What is the difference between a townhouse and a condo? I've got that right when we come back. Okay, we're back. Like, share, and subscribe. Library of videos on uh, Loan with Jen on YouTube when you're buying, selling, or refinancing a house. Okay, what is the difference between a townhouse and a condo? So, some properties, they'll have both of those names in the description. So which one is it? Is it a townhouse or is it a condo? First, I'll talk about the difference and then a couple things that you can look out for. So a townhouse is similar to a single family residence. You own the house, the, the exterior walls, even if it's attached to another property, sometimes townhouses can be, you know, especially in the Northeast, you know, you have brownstones that are wall to wall. So the exterior, including the roof and the walls on the outside and the land under, and if there's a small backyard maybe, in the townhouse is owned by the owner. So that's simple explanation number one. A condominium is governed by a homeowners association and the, the property owner only owns the walls in. So that means the interior walls in of the property. The exterior is owned and maintained generally by a homeowners association. Now you can watch one of our other videos under the condo playlist about things to watch out for or things to know about condos. But here, the main difference is a townhouse is similar to a single family residence and it's for pricing um, for, for loans when you're getting a mortgage, townhouse and single family residence are in the same bucket. And then a condo is different and that's because so many things ride on that homeowners association and how that property is managed. So, the, so ha what to look for? Well, definitely the title commitment is going to annotate it um, and have it in the, in the meets and bounds description. The easiest way that I generally look, look for in a property is I'll go to the county appraisal district where I'm purchasing or looking for the property and usually a townhouse will have a lot block description similar to a single family residence. When it's a condominium, usually it's a portion of the property. It'll say common area 0 .00263 of XYZ um, uh, unit, XYZ property. So those are just a couple things to look for. Um, again, what's the difference between a townhouse and a condo? Hope you've got a couple of talking points to know what to ask your local realtor or lender. Visit Loan with Jen, like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Legacy Mutual Mortgage is an equal housing opportunity lender. The opinions expressed here do not reflect those of Legacy Mutual Mortgage.